Hello friends, my name is Nockrach, Robert Kennedy, the principal of Duff's Valley Nursery and Primary School in Northern Uganda. I want to say you are most, most welcome. We love you so much, our donors and friends who are actually abroad. And uh, I want uh, just to tell, give you just a brief history of how this school started in Northern Uganda. It started in 2016 when we started in a dilapidated classroom that we were actually renting it, a rental premise. It was actually not something easy until uh, up to the extent when we couldn't actually contain it. But uh, anyhow, we started it that way because we wanted our children at least to get the education that is quality, that is of quality and can bring them to understand better how they can talk, how they can communicate to the rest of the world because our land suffered from the insurgency that took over 20 years. So in 2016, we started as a nursery and a P1 primary school. And uh, in all this, how we have actually been doing it, it has been so encouraging and uh, we actually encourage our community at no cost, at least to bring their children so that uh, the children are actually educated. So when we started in 2016, we started with 29 children because the community never thought that we could actually offer the quality of education that is supposed to be given to the children. And uh, up to the time when COVID came in, we were already having up to 354 children. And all these children were now accommodated in a better, better place, though some few were actually still left in the dilapidated classroom that was still rental. And uh, from that time, because of the condition of the people that we are actually having in uh, Northern Uganda, we couldn't actually contain the poverty level of our, of our, of our people. And uh, they are even not in a position of buying the school uniforms for their own children. There was actually nothing that they could offer for the children. We only encourage them that they should actually bring just some few food items that can actually help us. And even the teacher themselves, they offered themselves, qualified teachers, they offered themselves because of the good vision that we were having. When we discussed it with them, they came to help the children. We managed actually to purchase this, the, the, the school land in 2017, end of the year. And this is actually the land we started just with just a small plot that can only contain just a, a very small house. But um, because of the vision that we had, that is how we started the school. And it has actually been progressing. And later on, we were actually supported by our friends, Greg and uh, Justin Collins from Australia, who have actually greatly helped us. They helped us in the extending of the school land. And now, as you can see, these are actually the construction that they have managed to help us with. And right now, our children are actually here studying from. Right at the moment, we are still having the candy class, but on the first, of March, we are having the other classes who will actually immediately come and join us. The, this first, with this first block, is almost over, except only just some few touches on the external. But the internal, everything is actually set, and the children are really there, except only so, just some few days that we have to put. So this is actually the support that they have given unto us. And uh, the second one is actually, which is only remaining the roofing, putting of the doors and the windows, and working on the floor and uh, and the walling that are actually left. So the work is also on. And uh, we thank God so much for Greg and Justin for all this work that they have given unto us and for the effort that they have given up to 59,000 US dollars that they have actually raised and they have actually helped us fund and erase all these two blocks. And I want actually to thank God also so much for our friends, that is Sharon and Pete, who have actually given themselves and they are coming actually to raise more fun for our latrines and uh, as you can actually see in the background that uh, we are actually looking at that is the latrine that we are having for 354 children of the school we have only three doors and the three doors one is for the girls one for the boys and then one for the staff and uh, it is actually in a very bad condition because if you look at the wall we have actually also only managed to make just six feet down because there was actually serious flooding here. So our first latrine collapsed 
and we had to put this is emergency latrine. So if it were not because of the emergency, we wouldn't have actually been having a latrine at all. Therefore, I want to encourage you friends that whatsoever things that you can give, we promise you that we shall put it to the best use that our latrine shall actually be constructed that can contain the 354 children that we are having in the school and even more that shall be coming. We shall actually put it into good use and the latrines shall actually be put up when uh, you offer willingly and generously. I request that uh, let us join hands to support this community that are so desperate that uh, the children are actually so destitute that they cannot help themselves. We thank you. God bless you. As we look forward for the support that you will actually give and to help support our children with the latrines. God bless you and I want to say thank you so much.